three wideouts to the near sideline. Ball's handed off to number 22, Tavarian Barnett. He's going to go all the way. No, he's going to be tackled down at about the six-yard line, the but he's going to have enough for a food right first down here in the Dales Recycling first quarter. Well, a good block on the outside there. Didn't number catch who that was, but with the stop. allowed Tavarian to use that speed. Good gain. 15-yard gain, first and goal at the seven. So 15-yard gain from Tavarian Barnett as we begin this contest. Well, the last kickoff, uh, the maybe having a short one coming up here. A little pooch kick coming forward, and it's going to be taken by number 22. That's uh, Trevarian Barnett, and they're not going to catch Trevarian. Trevarian's going to score right here. Touchdown for the Golden Tide, and there is a penalty on the play. The kick for a Peabody touchdown. No, no penalty, Paul. That's going to be the... T for the kicker. Touchdown. That, touchdown for the Golden Tide. That was not a penalty. That was the uh, the T, Joey. Thank you for pointing that out. And so Peabody goes right back on the scoreboard. 20 to 13. And at this rate, we're going to have 100 points scored in this game, <laughs> contest. I thought it was a penalty, too. You just kind of pessimistically look at it and try to see the penalty. But what a tremendous job by Tavarian there. He does what he does best. He's magic when he gets the ball in his hands. And no one is going to catch you when he gets out. One man in the backfield. And that's number 22, Tavarian Barnett on the carry. And he's going to have a gain of about five on the play. And so a little different look there number on offense Barnett is uh, Lowry. Lowry went in motion from that wingback position. Tackle made by number and three, then Caleb also Long. number 75, Scruggs, was able to pull. And we had two blockers Gave out in front on the play. Brings uh, up for that uh, play to the wide side of the field. Brings up second and yeah, four. It's good. Uh... <laughs> Barnett comes to the other side of the formation. Barnett's loose. And Barnett's going to go all the way. They're not going to catch him unless he trips over a yard. Pick him up and put him down. Touchdown, Golden Tide. Number 22, tie. Barnett. Paul, you know those jets up in the sky that have that stream behind them? 79-yard run resulting in a touchdown. I believe he had one. Peabody. Peabody's fixing to mess around and get a penalty for celebrating down here in the end zone if they don't watch out. <laughs> Referee went over to him to break him up. That's got to be the fastest guy or one of the fastest guys in West Tennessee. Well, maybe that's why we keep giving him the ball, thinking, well, one of these plays, even though he's right up the middle, he's going to break him, going to break it loose, and well, so Barnett goes three, Bogus, about 75 for yards for a touchdown, by close to 80 Sanders. yards for a touchdown on the play. Peabody's leading by three, 30 to 27. Chavarin Barnett. Number 22 breaks Barnett away and he gets a pretty good run and I believe Peabody got away with one right there as I don't believe they had seven men on the line of scrimmage. Well we heard the coach yelling that thankfully it wasn't caught but Tavaria Barnett is just lightning in the bottle. He is amazing when he gets the edge, when he gets a little space. Nobody on this field or maybe any other can catch him. First and ten for the Golden Tide. South Fulton have seen some good teams, but they've not seen anybody with an offense like Peabody how quickly they can score. Barnett on the right side of the field. He turns it up, and he's going to have a pickup of about 17 on the play, or excuse me, about 12 on the play. And kicked out of bounds there by Fowler after a first down. Well, by the nature of uh, a rainy night, uh, you would think they'd stay on the ground a little bit more, be creative in that running game. Hands get to number 22, uh, fastest man, <laughs> it seems, on the planet. Tavarian Barnett, even in the rain, can't slow him down. So Tavarian Barnett has the first first down. That's a food right first down. Uh, appreciate our sponsors each, each night for our first downs. Barnett on the loose again. And he's got several blockers out there with him. And he's going to have a pickup of about eight on the play. Already we see the offensive line for Peabody having some success blocking up front. They've had some challenges. They've faced some great uh, defensive lines in this area this year so far. And uh, if that offensive line can, can make some holes, it's going to be a long night for South Fulton. 
two wide outs, gold formation, or four wide outs, the spread formation, the gold package for Peabody. Devarian Barnett's got the ball. He's running loose. He's still on his feet. He's going to go in. Touchdown, Peabody. So with 7.45 to play here in the first quarter of action, Peabody takes the lead. Tavarian Barnett, outside, inside, he's, uh, if you give him a, a step, he's going to be successful, and uh, he proves it right there once again. Aaron Lowry's in the contest at one up back, and running left is number 22, uh, Tavarian Barnett, and he's going to have a gain of about 20 on the play before he's knocked down. We've talked about it all year. Tavari and Barnett is just a weapon that Peabody has. And he, when he gets a crease, he's going to exploit it with that incredible speed of his and agility. Great job again by Tavari and Barnett. Second and nine. Ball handed off to Barnett. He jukes and jives and gets around. And Barnett's on the loose as he's got the ball down to the 40. He's down to the 30, and they're just going to say goodbye to him right there. Touchdown, Tavarian Barnett. As Tavarian goes 69 yards for Peabody score. And that makes it 29 to nothing uh, with one minute and three seconds here before halftime. Well, bless his heart, number six for South Fulton. He just kind of screws him in the ground as he makes those cuts. But uh, he shouldn't feel bad. There's been a lot of a lot of players on defense this year who have been made to look kind of bad by Tavari and Barnett. He's just a, an outstanding running back once he gets out in space. Walter Kilzer uh, Stadium here uh, via ambulance. And our prayers and thoughts certainly are with that young man and his family. And earlier in the game, South Fulton also lost a, a senior lineman, uh, number 76, Zach Vaughn, 6'1", 275-pound uh, tackle and defensive end, and they've already confirmed that he had a torn ACL. And so the injuries are kind of mounting up for South Fulton, and our prayers are certainly with uh, those young men and their families. And kind of puts in perspective that this is just a, a silly game. Uh, that. Second and short for Peabody. Ball handed off to Barnett. And he's loose, running out wide. And he's going to cut back in. And he's going to be down to about the six-yard line before he's tackled uh, there by uh, J.P. Uh, Fowler on the play. Well, that's just all Barnett. He get, makes the outside. Nobody can catch him or turn him back. And uh, just barely is tripped up just enough. We, got, we see him again here as they go inside the 10-yard line. Ten minutes left in this third quarter. Second down and a long two for the Golden Tide. There's Tavarian Barnett on the loose. He's still going. And Tavarian could go all the way. I don't believe anybody's going to pitch him. He's at the 20. He's at the 10. And he's going to go in. Touchdown, Golden Tide. Well, you talk about the big play potential, and the first name on the list is Tavarian Barnett. We've said before, he's lightning in a bottle. Anytime he gets a step on somebody, he's going to make others miss. And then you're just going to watch the back of his jersey. And so Peabody scores with 5.53 to go here in the first period. So perhaps he did. It was called awfully quick. First and 15 for Peabody. Barnett on the carry. He's coming wide. He's got a little running room. He's still on his feet. And he's still going. And he's going to break loose. And he's going to go all the way. Tied. I'm going to tell you, the key to that play was number 20, Tay Tay Nance, that made a great block on the outside and freed up to Varian. We have our own. Tavarian Barnett's in the backfield. Tyler Gadlin split wide to the right. 
Malik Dokes just wide to the left and a cut back on the first play. And Barnett's going to have about nine yards on the carry. Going to be awfully close to a first down. And so pretty good cut right there coming out of that backfield. Yeah, Paul, it looks like we're going to pick up where we left off and keep on running uh, Farron Bennett. He's already scored two touchdowns and looks like we're going to try to give him three right here on this first, his opening drive in the second half. Third and ten for Peabody. He's going to have enough for a first down. And is he going to be hit out of bounds? That's awfully close to being hit out of bounds. Coach Gaddis is there pleading this case. And this game has kind of been one-sided tonight by the officials. And that certainly could have been called by uh, a flagrant personal foul hit out of bounds, but it was close enough. The officials felt like it was justified. Nonetheless, it's first and ten. Peabody, another food right first down. Looked like uh, Peabody was handed a four-yard penalty that play instead of a five-yard penalty. And Tavarian up the middle is going to have enough for another first down, for another food right first down for the Golden Tide. So quick. Gets a step on the inside. Good block. And I, I don't know if anybody in West Tennessee, of course we haven't seen them all, but who is as quick as Tavarian Barnett is. Second down and seven. Barnett on the carry. He goes around the end, and he's going to have it all the way down to about the five-yard line where he goes out of bounds just inside the five down. Another food right first down for the Golden Tide. Not sure how many yards that makes for Tavarian, but we've not seen him used to this extent all season long. Well, we know he had 135 yards the first half, and... He's had the biggest majority of this drive, which started at about the 46-yard line, so I'd say he's uh, anyway approaching 160 yards. Barnett on the carry, and he's going to have it going in. Is he going to score? And he touchdown! Golden Tide! His tremendous blocking by up front by that Peabody offensive line. They've had their challenges this year, but... Just a great job to sustain their blocks and push their man into the end zone. Another Barnett in the backfield with Bogus. Barnett on the loose. He's coming out wide and he's got the corner. He cuts it up and he's going to have a, enough for a first down on the play. Well, a, a key there is Malik Dokes could have very easily blocked in the back, but he wisely, maturely chose not to allow uh, Barnett to turn the corner and gain some great yards for another first down. First and ten. There's Tavari and Barnett, and he's running the ball hard. As Joey mentioned a few moments ago, we're using him more this game than we have any time this season. It's kind of like we've just, the coaches have pushed him out there and said, Javar, this is your game. Get out of the boat, son. It's time to walk on the water, right? Or and swing, he, sink or swim. He seems to be getting stronger as the game goes along. Maybe 100, 150 pounds soaking wet. Soaking wet with his equipment on. But he's running like a fullback. First and goal from the 17. There's Barnett running wide. He's got a good speed going out to that corner, and he's going to get in a touchdown. Golden Tide. <laughs> Spread formation. Tied into the left for Peabody. Barnett on the carry. He's slippery. He's loose. He's out on the edge. And he's going to have another first down, another food right first down for the Golden Tide. You know, I saw something there, number 41, I believe it is, for Humboldt ran, <laughs> ran him down from behind. Pretty impressive there. Devarian. Devarian's got 220 yards on 21 carries. 
Devarin Barnett's got 21 carries for 222 yards. After an exciting win against Humboldt, we've got the star of the show here, Tavarian Barnett. Tavarian, they've used you all year, but tonight they put the ball in your hands and said run with it, and you did it. Yeah, um, my line told me they was going to open up holes for me, so I just hit what I could. Well, it was an exciting game. Congratulations. Thank you. So Peabody has its first food right first down of the night as they have it first and ten. Ball's handed off to number 22, Devarian Barnett, and they're not going to catch him. Devarian's set loose. He's going to go all the way. Touchdown, Golden Tide. No flags on the field. It's going to be another long run for Tavarian Barnett. Last week was the Tavarian Barnett show. I really believe that, and it starts that way here tonight. And so Peabody goes about uh, 45 yards for a touchdown. The offensive line of Peabody has really improved in the last two to three games. They did a good job last week at Humboldt and uh, giving Tavarian room to run. Of course, Tavarian kind of makes his own room to run at times once he gets the step. But uh, they've done a good job tonight on the Hall's defensive line. Trips to the right side of the field for the Golden Tide. There's Barnett on the carry. He's shaking and baking, and he's going to have it going loose. He's going down the right sideline. He's at the 10, 5, touchdown, Tavarian Barnett. Looks like Barry Sanders, a miniature Barry Sanders, as he goes through there. He just, you just have no hope of tackling him once he gets ahead of speed. And so just like that, the Golden Tide go up 13 to nothing on a one-play 60-yard drive as Tavarian Barnett goes 60 yards virtually untouched. And you're exactly right, Joey. Looks like uh, Barry Sanders out there with the little juke and jive and making people miss. You know, a lot of these young people don't remember Barry Sanders in his heyday. Great starters that we have on offense stay healthy. Barnett on the carry. He's shaking and baking. And he's going to go all the way in for a touchdown for the Golden Tide. It's kind of like trying to uh, grab a hold of a hummingbird. It's just almost <laughs> impossible. <laughs> That's a good analogy. Trying to tackle a hummingbird is exactly right. <laughs> just like that, Peabody goes up 28 to nothing as Tavarian Barnett has his third State Farm touchdown of the night. Peabody's lending 28 to nothing, and we'll be back for more Golden Tide football. Ball's going to be handed off here to number 22 for the Tide. And he's going to go into the end zone untouched. As Tavarian Barnett scores his fourth touchdown, his fourth State Farm touchdown of the first half. As Peabody goes up 41 to 10 here with one minute and 16 seconds before uh, the half. Tavarian, is, uh, of course, has incredible speed, but he also is a smart runner. He watches for his blocks and really makes good cuts off those blocks. Hand off to Barnett, and he's on the loose, and Tavarian's going to score right here on the first play from the game. From 42 yards out, Tavarian takes it in. Touchdown for the Golden Tide. Great execution by the offensive line. All right, so on the first play, uh, the offensive line had good blocking and very little resistance was offered by Greenfield, and Tavarian basically went untouched, 42 yards for Peabody's first score of the night. Tavarian in the backfield. Hand off to Tavarian. He scoots and boots, and here comes another touchdown. Touchdown, Peabody. By Tavarian Barnett. That was a State Farm touchdown, by the way. 55 yards.
Levi comes out in a gold package. Handoffs to Varian Barnett. Tavarian's out. He's he's going to go. Can he go all the way? And he's down at the 20 yard line. That's the first time they've been able to tackle him all night. That is a food right first down, finally. Barnett on the carry. He's going to have enough for a first down, and they're not going to catch him. And they call a flag right here behind him. They're going to call holding out here on the spread formation tied into the right. Barnett carries the football. He's on the loose, and he's going to have enough for a first down as he picks up about 14 on the play. Gullet on the tackle for uh, the Vikings, as well as number 43, Denzel Epperson. Excuse me, number 23 on the tackle, uh, Chris Williams. He just loved seeing Tavari run the ball. And really, it took a while, the uh, evolution in this season. He, he's not been the primary back most of the year. Really, just toward the end of the year, he's been the primary man. And now the coach is focused on him. Peabody's on their second offensive possession, second and 10. Tied into the right, spread formation. Barnett's in the backfield. Tavarian's on the loose, and he's got the ball down to about the 22-yard line where he's tackled by number 31 for Humboldt, Marquarius, Marquarius Ingram. And so another State Farm touchdown for the gold, uh, first down for the Golden Tide. Paul, looked like maybe a trap there. Uh, just gave Tavarian that crease that he needed. He doesn't need much. He's not very big, but he is incredibly fast. And you see that Tavarian pushed that pile forward. That's impressive, the strength of that young man. Second and goal for Peabody as they're knocking on the door here at Humboldt, against Humboldt. And Tavarian's going to go in for a touchdown for the Golden Tide. You know, sometimes a small back can just kind of hide behind those linemen and those blockers, and the defensive guys just can't see him until he pops out, and then it's too late. First and 10 for Peabody. Barnett on the carry. He's going to have a pickup of about five, maybe six on the play. He moves the pile forward. Impressive. Tackled by number 56, Small. Austin Gullett, and number 71 for Humboldt, uh, Marshawn Cox. Small in stature, but big in heart. Tavari Barnett. 10 seconds to go on the play clock. These fans want to see a first down. And there's Barnett. He's going to have a first down. That was a big gamble on the part of the Peabody coaching staff, but it paid off. You don't make it, you give Humboldt really good field position, a chance to go ahead in this game. But Tavarian Barnett's number is called once again, and he comes through once again. Ball handed off to Barnett. He's still on his feet. Second and one. Ball's handed off to Barnett. Barnett's going on the loose. He's out here on wide, out of bounds, nearly at the 50-yard line. Clock is running. Clock finally stops about three seconds after he's out of bounds. 8.6 seconds. Peabody has the ball up at midfield. 
Really don't understand the clock operator letting that clock run. Five seconds left on the play clock. Barnett on the run. He's got some room out here on the left side. He's going to be out of bounds. Is he going to go out of bounds? Barnett on the carry. He's going to go in. Untouched. Touchdown. Golden Tide. And just like that, Peabody goes up 19 to 7. And you have to wonder how Humboldt will play from this kind of deficit. I think they're probably a pretty good character team. They're going to keep fighting. But sometimes the disappointment's too much. Tied into the right for Peabody. Barnett on the left side, two wideouts to the right. Bogus back, hands the ball off to Barnett. He's running wide out here, and there's a horse collar called right there, and it's going to be first down for Peabody. Barnett slow to get up. Coach Gaddis is out there to kind of nurture him and love on him a little bit, saying, come on now, you're all right. Barnett finally gets up, gets off the field, but into the contest will be number 24, William Harris. Be interested to see how many carries Tabaring has had tonight. It's been a bunch. Barnett shoe flies off in the process. Gadlin and Miller spread out to the right side, joined by Ryan White at the tight end. Toss sweep out here to number 22. Tavarian Barnett, he gets around them. And I think they grabbed his face mask, but then let go of it, and Peabody's going to have a first down. And so a little creativity there on the offense. That was just nothing but a toss sweep coming to the right side, and I like it. Kind of reverses out toss sweep. I've not seen that this year. Maybe I was sleeping somewhere along the way, but. Barnett up the middle is going to have the ball down to about the four-yard line. Five seconds to go on the play clock. And that's Barnett breaking loose. He's got both hands on the football. Touchdown for the Golden Tide. Tavarian was full speed by the time he got to the line of scrimmage. They weren't going to keep him out. Barnett takes a pretty good shot there at the end of that play. True spread formation. Barnett's to the right side. Barnett giving the ball right up the middle, and there he goes. They're going to go. He's going to go in the first play of the game. Touchdown for the Golden Tide. Well, we knew that Tavari and Barnett was one of the quickest players in West Tennessee, and he shows it as he comes down to Memphis and charges in for a touchdown on his first time he touches the ball. And so Peabody's jumped all on uh, Westwood right here at the beginning of this game. And with 10.26 to play, they score their first touchdown, and on for the extra point is Drew Sanders. Barnett swaps sides of the formation. He's going to be handed the football, and he's going to be going wide, and he's going to flank them. He's going to get outside of them, and he's going to be all the way down uh, to about the nine-yard line, eight-yard line, and pushed out of bounds where it's going to be another first down Another State Farm first down for the Golden Tide. Well, the Westwood linebackers just kind of walking up in the line, a half-hearted stunt on their part, just took them completely out of the play and had no pursuit in, in that play. You're going to need the linebackers' pursuit to try to corral Tavari and Barnett. Uh, at the end of the first quarter, eye formation for the Golden Tide, and the Hawals handed off to... Tavari Barnett, and he's going to carry it in for a touchdown for the Golden Tide. Well, we've seen already in this game, even in this first quarter, that the penalties have been crucial uh, in the playbook of Westwood. They have really given Peabody incredible yardage and advantage and momentum as they have committed some serious... Hands the ball off to Barnett going around the corner. Westwood had it defended, but they just couldn't make a tackle right there, and so Barnett's going to make enough for the first down for the Golden Tide. And that's another State Farm touchdown. Excuse me, first down for the Golden Tide. Now, having said that, we have – there are four defensive backs for Westwood who have 
three to four interceptions. So we're going to have to be careful. Barnett came in motion and got the ball. And he's going to have another first down as he's down to about the 38-yard line. Paul, did you notice how Tavarian's holding that ball way out to the side like a loaf of bread? Sure hope somebody doesn't get a hand or a hat on it. Knock it out there. <clears throat> and so Barnett, I think that time, moved out to the slot formation. He came in most gain of about eight and a half on first down. Bogus, excuse me, hands the ball off to Barnett. Barnett's going to have enough for another State Farm touchdown. As uh, first down, I mean, as uh, we tell you about our sponsor here for the third quarter, L.A. Realty, uh, broker Ed Norman down on the nor uh, Court Square in, in Trenton. Be sure to call Ed. He knows kind of a great human interest story there is J.T. Haynes back on the field for the Golden Tide. Number 22, Tavarian Barnett on the loose around the sideline, and he's going to go in. Touchdown for the Golden Tide. Absolutely amazing that on this quick <coughs> Westwood team, Barnett is just the fastest man on the field. He can make the corner, he can scores. So the lead for the Golden Tide increases. Second and five for Peabody. Ball's handed off to Barnett going around the right side. And he scoots around there like a dead gum race car going around the corner, and it's going to be first down for Peabody. Yeah, you come in at quarterback, it's not <coughs> real hard. Hand it to Tavarian <coughs> and get out of the way. He went around the defensive end for Westwood, who's probably a pretty good athlete, like he was standing still. It wasn't great blocking on the play. It was just Tavarian Barnett and the speed that he has in those legs. Bogus back in the contest at quarterback. Hand it off to Barnett right up the middle. Pick up of probably a five on the play. Spread formation, tied into the left. Barnett in the backfield with Bogus. Toss pitch coming out here to the right. Barnett turns up, and Barnett's running downhill, and he's going to have a first down as he gets the ball across the midfield stripe down to about the 46-yard line of Dresden. Tackled by number 64 from Dresden, Bobby Hampton, coming up and making the play. But the first first down for the Golden Tide tonight. Bogus in the backfield, hands the ball off to Tavarian Barnett. Barnett goes wide, he gets the corner, and he's going to make it all the way over to about the 35-yard line where he's going to have a first down. Appears to be enough for a first down. I have to pass. Toss sweep out to Barnett going wide, and he reverses his field, and he's got some good running room coming down this left side. Out blocking for him is Tyler Gadlin. To Barnett, he's still on his feet, and he's going to have the ball down to about the 21-22 yard line. And, Joy, that's exactly what we were talking about. Barnett can make you miss. He reverses his field, and he has a pretty good game. Well, that's not how you design it. It's not how you draw it up, but Tavares just took it on himself uh, to just do what he, what he does best, and that is improvise with the ball in his hands. Uh, great. The biggest game, perhaps, of the, of the ball game so far. So first and ten for Peabody. We need to come out and put some scores on the board here in the second half if we're going to have an opportunity to get back in this contest. Um, but Peabody's going to have to decide to get tough and play better. Number 22 running the football for Peabody, Tavarian Barnett. And pretty good gain of about eight on the plate. Really impressed how Tavarian has, uh, you know, really done absolutely his best. It's, they've taken away his strong suit, been able to run on the outside. He's not able to beat him on the outside tonight, but he is uh, running up in there, pushing, uh, getting whatever yards he can. Second down and 10 for Peabody. Barnett on the carry, he tries to break wide, and he's going to still on his feet as he squirts his way up uh, for about an eight-yard gain, and that's going to bring up second down and two. So good effort by Zay, uh, by Tavarian Barnett. It's really good to see, you know, a lot of players this down last, potentially last 
game of the year down to what 28 27 to nothing uh, to kind of not give him the effort that maybe he's given all year but Tavares doing a great job you can see the the, uh, the passion in his running tonight tied into the right for the Golden Tide Toss sweep out to Tavarian Barnett. He tucks it up and cuts back against the grain. And he's still on his feet, twisting and turning down to about the eight yard line where Dresden's finally going to corral him in. And so aggressive running by Barnett. Well, that certainly was all Tavarian Barnett because I, I you know, just hate to say this, but there's just some offensive linemen walking around out there after their initial block. And they're just kind of watching and seeing what Tavarian's doing. And to get in there and push the pile a little bit and help a teammate out. It's not going to look good on tape. Carrying the football going out wide is Tavarian Barnett. And Barnett had a first down as he showed his speed as he got around the corner. Really appreciate, just as a fan of Peabody football, appreciate Tavarian Barnett and how hard he's running here late in the game. 